John Tay Porter, Doug, what the heck's going on? I I I don't know. I I'm this is the perfect storm that I think we all saw coming. A fringe player on a no go nowhere team making no money decides to juice the game, to game the system. Uh, I'm sh- I'm obviously the uh, uh, the way the league and books uh, police these things is shocking because they're so good at it. They were on this like nobody's business, and but I'm not. I'm not. I don't think any any of us are surprised that it came. I'm just surprised that it came to Toronto. Sadly, it's 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 come to. It was the uh, Boston College point shaving scandal. The Arizona. Right. It was the same ones that have just come to the pro level. Kids being impacted by money that they weren't getting and that other people were, and they said, "Okay, we want a piece of this too." by getting in on the action. Now, I'm going to wait to see what all comes out because like little bits and pieces are starting and continuing to trickle out. But to Doug's point, like if you're connected, you can't bet. That's just that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Go bet on horses, go bet on a hockey game, but and you know what the sad thing is now? like drugs and alcohol in our society it's accepted i had a guy sitting two rows behind me the other night at the game and he goes hey jonesy like and i I, he hey jonesy what do you think is is uh is uh is is so and so going for this many points tonight i go i don't know he could go off any night that's all i said at the end of the game the guy said i put 50 on this and it came back as 312. I said, what'd you bet? He goes, I thought the guy would go off. I took the over on whatever point. That's how accepted it is right now. It's like taking a guy to a bar, buy him a beer, he gets drunk. Like that's where we're at right now with gambling society. It's accepted. So what's the process, Doug? I mean, what what happens now? He's obviously, I mean, I saw Darko's uh, uh, presser that you, I think you were part of. He says he, he hasn't seen him. He doesn't know where he is. Blah blah blah. What what, yeah. what happens now? And and I, it, it... again, I, Jones, as Jones, you mentioned, we don't. Nothing's been proven yet, and there is investigations being conducted in, uh, by the by the bookmakers and by the league. My my guess right now is that he will never play in the NBA again. He'll be banned. Yeah. He'll be banned from the league as soon as this is over. And. It, that, that, it may not maybe a moot point because I don't think he's ever going to play in the NBA anyway. But I think he will be banned from the league. Yeah, I think that's what it, it, that, they have to come down the hammer. They have to bring the hammer down hard on mm-hmm. the first one because you can't have you can't have this. You, you just can't gamble. Is the NBA? The leagues are all complicit. Now the the, league, the NBA is now betting uh, allowing betting live betting on its own league pass uh, app. They're there. They are. You cannot oh. go in an arena in any any sport in North America and not be inundated by advertisement for betting for uh, bets uh, like betting. Sure. Yeah. Betting. Some some and arenas so, have kiosks. Some arenas you can bet in the arena right there. Get out of your seat, walk up the steps to the concourse and make your bet. It, right it, there. What, what, what to me is it, I've seen it. I've seen it coming for years. It's ruining sports because you don't cheer for a team. You cheer for your bet. Yeah, and I I think that takes it gets to the the essence of sport mm-hmm. is wanting your team to win, and now you don't care if your team wins as long as your guy covers. And and, and all I think of the, that's sad, man. That's sad to me. It really and, is. And all of the stuff coming out of it. You heard JB Bickerstaff, the head coach of the Cavs, talking about people in touch with him. We know where you live. We know where your uh, you know where your kids go to school. Uh, you know, Tyrese Halliburton saying, you know, I'm a basketball player. I'm not a walking prop bet. And that's, it's just, it just continues to to filter out like that. And as Doug and said, the leagues are complicit. Everybody's the in on it. They're enablers. The yeah. leagues are enablers. Because, hell, we were all, we all were here when the NBA, in the sanctimonious way, took uh, NBA games off pro line, pro line, yeah. Unless, or they weren't going to give the rap, they wouldn't allow the Raptors to exist if they didn't take their games off the evil government gambling site. Well, now, 
Now they're allowing betting on their own app. 